was the joke. Mm -hmm. Hi, Hi guys. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> All right. So it's Tuesday again. I don't know how that keeps happening. I know it's, it's so weird. Just like yeah, holy crow. We there moved, went another week. Yeah, and we moved today, so we want to. We're back in the original home. Right. It's so pretty back there. Yes. Yeah, it is. We have a second cutting counter now, so maybe we could come back over here when we're not doing machine demos. It's so pretty back there. All right. So, so what did you do this weekend? I, I know what you did. Yes. I have she been was slaving this weekend. I feels like I was, yes, I, um, mm -hmm. I was slaving over the computer, which is, um, always fun and interesting and, uh, um, digitizing for, um, a surprise, a surprise, which yes. we will tell you all about before we disconnect today. Yeah. So, so hello, mommy. That is what I was doing this weekend. And, um, since I'm not new to digitizing, but I'm definitely new to this software. Um, I feel like it's she, taking me a little longer than it should. And she bought wine to drink and then forgot and to I drink didn't it. Drink it. I thought maybe all this will make <laughs> things easier. Like, okay. Yeah. So oh goodness. But, um, we are here and we would like to show you guys some of our new cabinets today. Yes. And, and why you might want a cabinet, you yeah. know, I mean, it certainly sounds pretty to say I have a sewing cabinet, which is all well and good, but and hi dad. Um, but yeah. you know, why is it beneficial? So we'll talk about that a little bit too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you, you sew in a cabinet. I do sew in a cabinet. Yeah. I'm very blessed. Yes. My hubby made my cabinet. So, um, very, very blessed. I have a beautiful cabinet made out of black walnut. It is, it's gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> it's just really, really pretty. But, um, we don't have any black walnut cabinets here, but we have some really, really pretty and very functional cabinets here. So we do. We will talk about um, some of those different ones. We have some new ones. If you guys haven't been in touch in the last few weeks, um, we have some new cabinets. So those are what we're going to focus on are some of the new options mm -hmm. um, that you guys might not be quite as aware of. So and not to say that I mean all of the cabinets that we have are great cabinets. Absolutely. Um, and and there's no reason to knock any of them. Um, one of the reasons that we're so excited about the new cabinets, well, I think two reasons, right? White is really hot right now. Um, and so we have an option in white and um, price. You know, that's, I think, a lot of people's um, hurdle. They just can't jump to getting into a sewing cabinet is they tend to be a little pricey. Mm -hmm. So um, comparatively, these cabinets are still very good quality but at a little bit more reasonable price. So, which is the other reason we're really excited. Um, and we've had quite a few uh, customers coming in and looking. I think your dad wants to know where that black walnut came from. <laughs> my dad would like to know where that is. So props to the dad. Right. Um, he um, actually cut down a tree in his front yard that happened to be a black walnut tree. And there was just this beautiful planed wood sitting in his pole barn. Mm -hmm. He said, hey dad, what are you doing with that? So. Um, the wood came from my dad and the cabinet was built by my husband. So super cool. And um, like I said, I'm very, very blessed. I got a cabinet that's absolutely, what did you just do? I did. <laughs> that was like, woo, woo. Right? That's not what I wanted it to do. No? I wanted it to be a ticker and it's not. It's and not a ticker. I don't know how to make it a ticker. <laughs> But anyway, thank you, Dad, for the wood. I did it again. You did just it again. Just ignore me, guys. Just, I'm playing with the buttons We're just going to have some <laughs> pop-up menus evidently popping up today. Um, oh. But yeah, so thank you, Dad, for the wood. Um, and thank you, Hubby, for the build. Because yeah. Very cool. Yes, absolutely. But, um, it's kind of funny. Both our dads are on watching. I, I know. I know. So, our two dads. So hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> our two dads. That was a show once upon a time. I know. Wasn't it? Yeah. Not the same oh. kind of dads. No. <laughs> But um, not that there's anything wrong with those kind no, of dads, but no. not the same kind. No. Um, but yeah, so. They're not together. <laughs> no, they're, they're not. Nope. Don't even live in the same state. Um, 
<laughs> well, I could tell you that. My <laughs> nephew literally sat there as they're cutting down the tree. Papa's going to die. Papa's going to die. Papa's going to die. Just chanting it over and over again because he was so afraid the tree was going to fall. Yeah. On my dad while he was cutting it down. Mm-hmm. That That's funny. That didn't happen. No. But that is the story that my dad is referring to in the comments if you guys are reading that. So <laughs> thanks yeah. for the memories. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that was my nephew. That wasn't my son. I don't believe so. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But I'm sure he might reply in Possibly. just a second with yes. the correct answer. On so, that, so I mean, uh, we got a new intro little video. And yeah. um, now we Sarah have, had a little bit of fun. I've been doing um, the, a lot of computer work. Yeah. The, so now our these names. Things yeah. And yep. These things. And we've got a little sticker over here. And you're pointing in the wrong corner. I was pointing underneath. Oh, my name. Uh, oh I was, okay. I see Right it. there's my name. See my name. Yeah. Say my name. Say my name. <laughs> See my name. Say my name. Um, we won't sing. Yeah, <laughs> we won't sing my name. That's, oh, that's goodness. bad. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I think we get. I think we get more um, happy when we're over by the fabric. That <laughs> might be true. Um, we could fondle it really easily from right. here. So you know that's an important thing to be able fabric to do. Fondling is a so thing. it was my son. Evidently, I was thinking that it was. My yeah, sisters, but mm, no, evidently that was my kid. All right. So the, back the memories to, don't uh, always back to the cabinets for a yeah. minute. Yeah. So thanks, Dad. Um, yeah. Lisa and I both sew in cabinets. Um yes. we sew in different types of cabinets. We do. And I can tell you I sewed for a long time with no cabinet and how much longer I can actually stay sewing because of the cabinet. Yeah. Um, it's just much more comfortable um, and it's a much more pleasurable experience um, to, to sit at a cabinet and so instead of having things at funky heights. Yeah. Um, I have also, um, while waiting for my cabinet to be built, sewn standing up because the only table that I had um, in my sewing room it while I was waiting to, um, was a counter height mm -hmm. table. So embroidering standing up, not so big, yeah. no, no, no big deal. Sewing standing up, that's a whole other problem. Yeah, it's weird. It's really, really weird. Yeah. Yeah. Very weird. A lot of people so, do it, though. That's, I, I have heard that's a thing. thing. I, a I, thing. I, I don't understand it because I've done it. And I didn't enjoy it at all. <laughs> but um, it evidently is a thing. Yeah. So, Miss Marilyn, um, just hang out for a little longer. We're going to talk cabinets for a little bit. And then you might hear some new Kimberbell news. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Just, if we're feeling. Know. Oh, no. There'll be some later. Just hang on. <laughs> Um, so Sarah um, yeah. so digitized I, all yes. weekend. So if you guys tuned in, was that just last week I, I, w that we did the, the sparkle heat transfer? Yeah. That, that's yeah. just crazy. It's last just week time for the week. I think last it was last week. Yeah, oh. I think it was last week. We're just doing this so often. I can't tell what I do when anymore. But yeah. um, I talked about using heat transfer glitter yes. as an applique piece for sewing as mm -hmm. well. Um, and so I actually made a point to work on the project that I mentioned, um, which is a Harry Potter bookshelf quilt. I love the name of the project. It's called the project of doom. Mm -hmm. You knew that, right? I did. Um, and it just cracks me up every time I look at it. I'm like, God, it can't be that bad so far. It really hasn't been that bad. Um, <laughs> isn't it great? Mm -hmm. Um, so this is my bookshelf that I have started. It's two blocks, um, that I've gotten done so far. And I'm sure you can see the sparkle. So there is my little, um, there's a name for that. And I'm drawing a blank. What's that called? Globe? Nope. What is that? Yep. We're all like, oh, I don't remember. Um, yeah, we'll come up with it. But it's the, you know, the thing that you look in to see the future. The crystal crystal ball. ball. The crystal ball. Good job. That's why we keep him around. <laughs> he has, he has all those little answers. <laughs> it's fantastic. Because my brain sketchy these days, man. Um, so yes, my, my crystal ball, um, is just a circle that I fused. Um, so it looks just like fabric and it's just part of that. So, um, just to touch on what we talked about a little bit and actually see, I bet you cut that out on your scanning cut to get it I so perfectly round, out. right? Yes. I did not fussy cut that. That was done on my scanning cut because I can, <laughs> there you go. So, and it literally took me 10 seconds because the circle is built in. So I measured my pattern that with what it wanted me to actually paper piece, mm. which I neglected to do as you all can all see. I'm like, yeah, that's not happening. 
And so it was roughly yeah, yay wide. So I typed in that big of a circle and hit cut and it was done and ironed on moments later. So right. very, very easy and just a lot of fun. And again, because I can. Because you can. Um, that is called, again, The Project of Doom. It is the Harry Potter bookshelf quilt. Um, it is a paper piecing, actual sewing paper, real paper piecing. Um, it's a free pattern. And um, it's from a site called Fandom in Stitches, if I remember yeah, right. I but if right. you type in Harry Potter bookshelf quilt, it'll pop up. I mean, it is free. There may be a little bit of printing involved to get all of it. Um, like I said, that was only two blocks of... <laughs> A whole bunch yeah um <laughs> so i mean it's you know a full size like 45 by 60 or something like that quilt mm -hmm. if i remember right so i mean there's a lot of stuff so lots of fun yes so, so um cabinets we, let's get we, to cabinets for us that's, to stay on track today no it's not that it we pretty. talked about what you did i know then we talked about what and um, she was going to skip what I did. did you I was see how not. That went? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so our cabinets, right? Phone's ringing. <laughs> when you were paper piecing, though, um, you were sewing in your cabinet. So um, I was. you have less stress here and here. And Which on is your really back. good because right now that whole area on me is not playing nice. So, I mean, honestly, if I hadn't been in a cabinet, I don't know if I would have been able to get two blocks. I probably would have made it through maybe one, one. and said, I hurt so bad, I got to stop. Yeah. So, um, that is the advantage because where you're sewing at is at a height that you're not doing this, mm -hmm. um, that everything is relaxed. So let's show some cabinets. Yeah. Let's, uh, our, we've lost our camera guy, but that's okay. Cause this one is already, <laughs> it should set. already be set up. So we'll have to, um, switch over. So this cabinet that you guys are seeing right now, um, we are not there. So Sarah is not a bank of drawers and I am not a chair, <laughs> but, um, it is one of the new ones. So this is made by the Kangaroo Cabinet Company, um, which if you're looking them up online, um, they are sister companies with Aero. So depending upon how you're searching, you can find it there. Mm -hmm. These are mod systems. So M-O-D as in dog um, systems and M as in Mary, right. um, just to be clear. So modular, meaning there are multiple parts that you can put together to basically build it however that you would like to see. Um, you can see where that machine is, and that is a Luminaire, guys. So that is literally the biggest sewing machine out these days, and yeah. it fits with ease. And I mean inches, inches around that. Mm -hmm. So plenty of space in there. That is the hard part when we get into the bigger cabinets. I'm sorry, the bigger machines is there's not a lot of cabinet options, um, and especially not a lot of affordable cabinet options to put those big machines in. Right. So this is probably the reason that Sarah and I are so excited about having this new um, option because it's something that we can offer you guys that we couldn't offer you before. No. A very affordable, a very functional sewing, and you can use it, of course, as embroidery as well. That's right. And so, so it is electric lift. Um, mm -hmm. So this, this cabinet does come in a variety of different ways. We've chosen to carry the electronic version at the store because we feel like the majority of the people um, that are going to want it are, are going to have these big that. So if you look closely at that picture, um, you can see the chair um, right down below the chair. You can see um, <laughs> the, oh, it looks like our, 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 internet, our internet might internet have gotten a little glitched wonky for a there. second there. So right um, there along the, in the center, all the way to, well, what's the right of our screen. Yeah. So um, you can see a little black and a white rec uh, piece. Maybe Hayden can um, be the can hand model for a minute. There you go. Yes. Right there. there. Perfect. <laughs> that was Hayden's hand. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Hayden. Um, so those are literally a switch that you push up and you push down until you get the machine leveled exactly where you want it to be. Right. Um, and then you have that pretty, you can see the glare on it. It's a plastic insert that's going all the way around that so that it fits and you have a complete um flat sewing surface <laughs> yeah harry potter, harry took, potter care took care of the chair yes it magically <laughs> disappeared Everyone look at that hi, Hayden. <laughs> <laughs> so um that that sewing surface is it's lowered about three inches just mm -hmm. really roughly every machine is going to be slightly different um, but the electric lift makes that super easy because you don't have to sit down there with a screwdriver mm -hmm. saying, where do I need this do to I go? This you to just be? push the button, yes. which is 
freaking awesome. <laughs> so And so um, because it's modular, you can buy it in sections. So um, if you're looking at the picture there, um, the chest of drawers is sold separately. Yep. So you can buy it together, but it is separate. So two things, it makes it easier to move around, get down or up. Um, but it also gives you an option for having more chest of drawers or no chest of drawers. Right. Um, and they also have thread drawers yes. for this system. So we do actually have the entire mod system um, on our website. So you guys can check that out. You can see the specs. You can see the different parts. Um, and we do have um, some pretty nice price points. Um, this system, if you buy individual pieces, um, there may be a shipping fee for like the drawer, the storage pieces um, for the cabinet there that you guys see, we're actually going to pay the shipping and the insert fee for you. So super great price for you guys because there's yes. no extras. Once you, What you see is what you get. There's no extra little, oh, by the way, now you have to get a this, that, and the other thing. Mm -hmm. Um, it's literally that. So do you want to tell them the fantastic sale price on that? Yes. Um, the sale price on the cabinet shipped to your home with the insert is $1,999. So just a mere under $2,000. Yep. Like a buck. Like a buck. <laughs> um, but by the way, you still have to pay tax. So sorry. Right. Um, parts are movable. Yes. And so um, here's the thing. So it's set up for sewing mode right now because you can see that clear plexiglass insert. That's the part that the in that's coming for free. So it's the insert. Those are usually about $129 for that size. Yep, right around there. Um, but you just put that table all the way up to the top, take out that clear piece, and then you're going to slide your embroidery module on. And now you have your embroidery section. So, so that white piece that you see kind of below the mm -hmm. cabinet top, that would rise all the way up and it would fill in the hole yes. where the machine is sitting. So you would raise that all the way up. You would have a completely flat sewing surface, which would all be white at this point. Mm -hmm. So um, look at that. Magic is happening over there. It is. I don't know why it's so glitchy though. I, I don't know either. So um, it actually is running much smoother than that. That is an internet jump that you guys yeah. saw there. So you can see it's completely flat. And then you could just add on that embroidery arm and go to town. Mm -hmm. So, um, of course, when you're sewing, it's much more important because you're literally sitting in front of the machine. Um, and I'd also like to point out, you can actually sit in front of the needle yes. on this machine when it's in a cabinet. Sometimes there's cabinets that just don't quite do that for you. Right. Which, when you have this big of one, it's really easy to have that problem. Yes. Because your needle is so far left. You have a leg that's in your way yes. or something that you can't actually sit in front of the needle, which of course. This is why I finally bought a new cabinet because I was basically straddling the. Straddling a leg. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The, the corner of the cabinet. Which is no fun. It isn't. I don't know about you guys, but I seem to find every corner with my knees whenever oh, yeah. I'm anywhere near something like that. So it, that does not work. So um, you can see that that's been raised up and super easy to do. Um, and it's literally with just the push of the button and voila, now we're ready to embroider. Right. So there is a really fabulous bundle that is available, um, for the mod for this month. It is including, um, a drawer, a chest of drawers that is different than the one that we're pictured here. Um, yep. it's not officially out yet, so we can't show it to you. Um, but the one thing that uh, everybody always asks is where do I put my embroidery module when I'm not when using I'm it. not using it? And so this new one has a drawer it actually has that storage compartment yeah, it built comes, into it. It builds. Yeah. yeah. It, so it just folds down and you put your slide the arm module in right in. Boom. Um, and that is a really nice option. So um, there are five different or six, maybe five or six different pieces um, to the mod cabinet now. Um, so there's corner cabinets and, and different pieces and parts. Um, that you can add to it. So four um, storage options and then um, two, uh, a corner cabinet version and then the the one that the machine sits in. So two options for sewing yep. and then um, four different options for uh, cabinets, uh, for drawers and, and threads and things like that. So six different choices of um, setups that you can have So for all six. Um, depending upon your personal choices, of course. Yeah. Um, we do have other types of cabinets. Yes. Um, we're just focusing on these because they're new and they're something that you guys, unless you've come in very recently, you haven't seen um, in store. So we're back. Hello. <laughs> so um, she didn't warn me she was doing that. I was like, oh, <laughs> hello. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Pardon me. So 
when you're embroidering, it doesn't matter so much that you're re-threading your machine three inches higher mm -hmm. because that's what you're doing. You're re-threading the machine and then you push a button, then you sit there and you wait. Right. Um, when you're sewing, you are actively got your hands, hopefully not in the needle, but under the machine and, and on there. Can you check with Tony and see, um, the internet is really glitchy. I, sometimes he has this screaming in the back. If it, he does, can you turn Just it off? get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, you know, so that's something to, to consider when you're purchasing a cabinet. So um, if you embroider more than you sew, this might not be the, the cabinet for you. We have some other things that um, are out there as well. But big picture, this is awesome. It is. And so I just wanted to throw that out there because I'm sure somebody is thinking, well, what about when I'm embroidering? Right. You know, with that whole height difference. So um, it is nowhere near as important when you're embroidering to have that height there because you're literally threading, push and go. And right. You're not hunched over the machine. You're not hunched majority. or with this yes. <laughs> thing going on, Yes, um, which is what does happen when no. Okay. Had to try. Yeah. You had to blame somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah. Um, that there are different types out there, but this is big picture, probably one of the better cabinets I've seen mm -hmm. um, for what, it, how much, especially when you, it's now I know somebody out there is also thinking $2,000. So how much would another brand's machine cabinet in that kind of range be? 5,000. There you go. Yeah. So big, big difference mm -hmm. um, that we can get you guys into something that's going to help you um, enjoy your sewing experience so much more, Yeah, um, which is why we're so excited because it just makes... Right. Well, it's not exactly half the difference. Like if you added the sewing plus the, the chest of drawers. Right. Um, but it's still um, but at yeah, we're least talking $2,000. Right. Um, um, you know, fifteen dollars to $2,000, depending on the choice. So bundled that drawer set and the cabinet you're looking at three thousand yeah which again you're looking at about five to five and a half for that same thing at least well five and that doesn't include and that doesn't include the or shipping your inserts. or the inserts and all of that <laughs> stuff which we're able to take care of for you in the right. cabinet so right so if you're comparing um apples to apples yep um big difference, big difference. very so, very big difference um, these will ship directly to your home um, by FedEx Freight, it's a white glove delivery. They will go up, up one, one flight, flight or down, down one, flight, one flight, but only one in mm -hmm. one direction. <laughs> yes, so, and um, um, they will do up to six pieces. Yes, in, in a one single piece. delivery, so you could buy the whole mod set. Yes, and get it all delivered in one one chunk. And these come together um, completely together. Like the only thing that you're going to do is put the insert in yep. and lower put the cabinet in. and plug it in. Sit down and sew. Yeah, the casters are on, um, the drawer yep. handles are in. Um, and that cabinet does actually have a door that seals off the front if you yes. wanted to drop the machine and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, you know there's he's, no camera there now, right? Hannah again, but there's no, there's we no moved camera it. there. Um, he moved it. Yeah. Like, uh, he didn't and, know yes. that. <laughs> so um, that's so, the big... That's for the big The machines. biggest machine. And yep. then... The biggest the opening we can get. We're going to show you is this, this one, one is just wicked cool because it has so many different things going on. Right. It's really reasonably priced. So this one is. I'm going to go. Called Aussie. The I'm just going to go mess with my phone. For just a She's going to go mess with her phone for just a second. So what you guys see there um, where it says Sarah, that is actually a pullout piece. So right behind the chair, it's going to get blurry because her hand, she's cleaning off cameras and all kinds of stuff. So um, on that left side there, that whole piece with the two drawers and then the opening, um, that actually pulls out of the system and then you can attach it. Is it any better? Nope, it's about the same. It's clear over there. It's about the same. So I don't it's know. It's internet something somewhere. Maybe it's clear on their end and just not ours. Um, I know I'm not streaming over there, but I am on the internet on my computer. Mm. But um, that's never mattered before. No. Um, anyway. Yeah. Um, so. Hi, Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have something very narrow, 17 or 18 inches, and quite short, 40 inches, just enough to hold a regular small size sewing machine and a little embroidery unit? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Um, you should have seen the delivery carrying it up my stairs. I bet. 
it's probably crazy. The, the fun part about that is all you have to do is sit there and laugh at them. Right. <laughs> you don't have to actually participate in the delivery. Yes. Um, which is extremely important because um, these puppies mm -hmm. are very good quality and there's some good weight going on to them as well. Yeah. So, um, any idea, um, Hayden, can you measure the little one? I think that's the bandicoot there. I'm it is the bandicoot. Um, or even grab the piece of paper that has all of the, the doodads from... Um, that I printed. That we printed. Yeah. You have to find it. That yeah. would be the hard part. So... Um, this one is the Aussie, right? It is the Aussie. Um, that's next week. Yes. Um, the Lu Louisa foot fetish is next week. Yes. Just FYI. <laughs> just throw, I just read tomorrow. I just read that there won't be anybody there tomorrow morning. It's next Wednesday or Saturday for both embroidery club and foot fetish. Just yes. throwing that out there. Okay. So, um, let's talk about this here cabinet. So mm -hmm. again, on the left, that piece totally comes out. Um, or you can sink it down so that it doesn't come out if you don't want to. Um, you can have that slid left where it's literally part of the cabinet. Um, or you can slide it over and connect it. There's Sarah moving the chair, not Harry Potter this time. So, this. so that is the cabinet that I'm talking about. And it has connection pieces. So that whole cabinet, as you can see, slides right out. And it actually stores right there. So there's little sliding pieces um, that that goes into. And it accordions right into... Dun, da, da, da. Just like that. All the way down, but there's something, uh, there's a power strip down there. There's a power strip. So, you know, but it does actually go all the way into the cabinet for storage. And then there's a little door on the left that you see there that it connected to that you can actually close it in if you would like. The cabinet underneath the drawers that she is messing with right now is large enough to hold a standard serger, so a four thread serger. So you can have actual home for that down there. And, um, this cabinet just literally has a little bit of everything. It is just absolutely awesome. Uh, so you have that whole sewing piece out the back. And I am, there is a, a leaf that we don't have up that goes out the back of the, the cabinet itself. So you have room if you're doing your quilting. You can see that we have a machine inside there. So there is an insert that's going around this. This is not an electronic lift. So this is one of those that you're messing with your screwdriver underneath to get it at exactly, not that it's hard, um, it's just that the electric lift is easier. <laughs> um, so what that machine is, is actually the Brother um, BQ950. So all of those machines, your Presto, your Brilliant, your Catherine, um, your Lyric, your Soprano, the 500s, the 700s, um, the 9s and the 1300s all fit um, very, very easily. And as you can see, plenty of room around that machine as well. Then off to the right is the secondary door there, and you can see part of it. So right where you see my name, there's a couple little um, shelving units that you can put thread and different tools and things in that door. So tons of um, flat counter space that we can cover up and tons of storage and different options that you have. So this literally, you can run multiple machines. Again, the serger, um, super easy to the left. Um, and then your standard machine there in the center. So very, very great cabinet, lots and lots of options of how you can set that up to personalize it in your sewing space and how much room you have and how far you open it or all of those different things. Um, and again, this one is called the Aussie 2. And um, we will ship this right to your house and include the insert for this one as well. Um, MSRP on that machine, that machine, ha, that's not a machine on that, on that cabinet is $2,299. We are at $1,699. Again, that's with shipping and your insert. So huge storage, huge machine capacity space. Um, and again, that lift in the back, that lift, that leaf. I know how to speak. If I try super hard. It's the end of the day. <sighs> you haven't had enough to drink. No, this is my first caffeine and I've maybe drank <laughs> this it's a problem. I'm yeah. Trying, I'm trying to be good. That's good. But um so um there are uh Marilyn there are a couple of choices. Um we have uh we have the Gidget. The Gidget is super which we're gonna show as the last cabinet. 
um, which will probably fit would meet those needs. It's a simple cabinet. You can put your machine, um, you can drop the machine down, yep. but you can also um, set the whole thing up and then slide it over so that you could get a, um, yeah, can you come to that, ca go, um, which cabinet do we want to go to next? That one. Do that one? Yep. Okay. So, um, he's right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, we are going to, um, talk about that one later, but that one would, would meet your, meet your needs. Mm -hmm. Um, we also have one that's called the Bandicoot 2, which is, um, a little longer than what you were, um, asking about. When it's open. When it's open. This one is 60 inches uh, wide when it's open. Um, but it does have that depth that you need, um, when, when the lift in the back isn't open, it's only like 18 inches, the leaf. Yeah. It's my fault. I said lift first. So she's yeah. just now repeating, I'm, I'm repeating what I said. It. Um, but when it's closed, it's, um, it's like 30 inches, um, Mountain Dew should totally sponsor us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wide. Um, but that one is kind of a, it is a, it is a cabinet. It is in nice sense. and compact, um, in that aspect that it does fold down really nice, mm -hmm. um, but it opens up to give you lots of, of sewing space yeah. as and well. We'll show you that we're kind of going down in the line. So we started with the machine that had the largest <laughs> opening and, and biggest now machine. biggest machine. And now we're kind of going down, um, in the cabinet size. So, um, the one that we just showed you that had the 950 in it, um, that cabinet, we can go up to, um, like up the, to the, the full size sewing machine. Yeah. Um, so sewing only, um, or in, embroidery as well in that same mm -hmm. realm. So, so up to uh, like a, a 3000 crescendo, crescendo 3, 000, the, um, yeah. what is that one called? The Aria, yeah. um, or the 2400 or 2450, all of mm -hmm. those will fit in that Aussie too. So still pretty darn big machines that are being able to fit in there. Right. Um, so and you have all that room underneath to move around if your needle is a little over yep. to the left. You can scooch and not <laughs> hurt your knee. Scooch, scooch and scooch. Scooch and scooch and not hurt yourself, which is very important. Very important. Because. So check this little guy out. We don't have the machine sunk in um, because we were busier today than we planned. So, so sorry. We don't have that dropped down. But it is the same... Um, it is the same opening capacity yes. of the Aussie. This one is called the Wallaby. So um, it, it they're, they're all, you know, Australian yeah, things. If you have, haven't picked up on that yet. <laughs> so they have some strange names. They do. Um, but the Wallaby is available in either teak or white. Sarah and I both like the white, um, which is why all of our floor models are in there. Um, that Aussie is also available in either white or teak. The mod systems are only in white. Mm -hmm. So um, that is not a, um, there's no color option in that. Those mm -hmm. are just white, built in white, white. white, white or white. white. Um, so, but this guy here um, actually folds in pretty small. So you have a lot of wiggle room. Again, you can see there's a little cubby um, over there on the left above the drawer that you can store a serger. You can sew with the serger on that when you have that leaf piece extended on the, the left side of the cabinet. There is a leaf that we don't have up on the back of this cabinet as well to extend it for your quilting and whatnot needs. You've got lots of things there. You've got some thread um, spool holders mm -hmm. there on the right, and you have a nice little bin to random stuff because we all have random stuff. Right. So um, this one, again, is called the Wallaby and it is a manual adjust lift. Once you get that set, you don't have to readjust it every time. I don't think we said that before on the other one. Just, sure. just as a um, note, if you're new to cabinetry, um, it's not like you have to tweak it every time. Once you get it in position, it has like a, a high, is it hydraulic? Is that what you would call that? The, the push and the lift? Yes. Um, a hydraulic positioning to raise it all the way up or all the way down or at the uh, lower level to specifically put your machine on. Yes. So um, three positions you can pretty much set that at. And um, again, once you have that position, you don't have to keep messing with it every time. It will remember where you've told it to stop at. Absolutely. And so. this one is going to be um, $15.99. $15.99. And that is going to include, again, your insert and your delivery to your house as well. Um, the thing that I want to point out about this one is while the inside is the same, the place where you put your machine is the same, this one would definitely, um, 
I would be remiss to say I would really recommend like a crescendo 3000, the to larger bump into the bigger one. Yeah, you could fit it in there definitely. Yes, the opening will fit. The but opening comfort will of fit. sitting in front of your needle, right? Not quite as comfortable here. You don't have quite as much space. Yeah, you really wouldn't be able to take advantage as much of that little left extra Correct. shelf. Yep. Um, that that wouldn't be real, real usable if you were doing don't that. Slap your I know. I think you know they can hear you. Just so you know, they've all commented that they can hear Tony today. <laughs> <laughs> she totally see his face, you guys. It's fantastic. <laughs> oh, I could flip the camera around real quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, too much he's fun. He's going to give me a bad finger in a minute. <laughs> yes, let's not flip the camera around to highlight right. that. So, so um, uh, we're going to go off of that screen and um, Hayden is going to move that around for us. And we're going to go to the Bandicoot. The Bandicoot. Which is um, coming in a new color now. So we have white here. Yes. And then there's teak. Um, and then starting in a couple of months, we're going to have gray. gray. I so, like the gray, actually. Yeah. Um, I have a feeling if that's well received, they'll, they'll probably add it start into some adding, other options as um, well. Um, it's, this is the only one that is currently, um, going to be coming in the gray. Yes. Um, but, uh, certainly, uh, would expect as long as it is well received that mm -hmm. it is probably going to be added elsewhere yeah. as well. And the bandicoot that we're going to show you is perfect for, um, a normal size sewing machine. So like, um, uh, someone else mentioned that they were talking about their, um, their other B girl, their little 630. So like a Bernina 630, a regular size. That's my doctor. I have to take machine. this Oh, please call. go ahead. I'm so sorry. That's okay. I'll be right back. So, um, that's what we're going to show you next. And I'm going to flip over to the calendar, calendar, the other camera. Wow. I'm just making up words here. Yeah. Oops. Come on. Here we go. So this is yes. the Bandicoot. So, um, and um, as you can see, it's kind of nothing too fancy, um, but it is a great price point. This is $899, guys, $899. That is, again, shipped to your home and has a free insert. The kicker with this one is this is kind of like an Ikea piece of furniture. This is going to come to your house and it needs to be assembled. So they call it ready to assemble. So it doesn't come fully assembled, but you will need to um, put it together. But it's really easy right. to put together. Um, they have great instructions and um, it is a great, great uh, cabinet. So if you have a small space or you're not really sure that you're gonna love sewing in a cabinet, I promise you will, but if you're not sure and you don't wanna spend a ton of money, um, this is a really good option. Um, it's got little storage places over there. I mean, who doesn't need a spot for their, um, their thread at some point? Um, it just rolls off the cabinet. Um, and then there's a little um, leaf in the back that will also um, flip out. Uh, it flips out. It flips out. Yes. So it does uh, flip out and then um, that will give you a little extra space in the back. So if you are um, like chain piecing or doing something else and you can slide that forward and then have that lift come up. So that's a really nice feature. What Again, um, eight ninety nine. Um, it's a great, great choice um, for like anybody who has a normal size sewing machine. So I'm gonna flip around here, and um, Hayden is gonna move the um, the uh, camera over to the last one. Um, and this is called the Gidget Two. So the Gidget Two is a portable station so um this one is 229 dollars um this does not include your insert just so you know she's back so um you would still need i'm so sorry you would still need to get an insert for this one if you wanted an insert which right. you can get one um you can also use your slide on tray or do a variety of different things but um I'm going to flip the camera over to the little gadget now that, now. I'm here. She's now that take she's the camera here. Off of me. Yes. <laughs> here we go. Okay. So cute little thing, right? Yes. Very, very cute. So what you can't see on screen is on the bottom of those left legs are mm -hmm. the little wheels. Yes. So it, it's not, that's not true, actually. They're on the table itself, aren't they? Yes, they are. They're, my on, bad. They're right there where yep. you just grabbed. So <laughs> it's it, my, my bad. It's all right. You're I'm a little flustered. flustered. I am a little flustered. That's okay. So the wheels um, are on the table, which means the the um, the feet, so the little stand part of the feet, they kind of fold they in just, and collapse on each other. Yep. 
and then you can just drag this along like a suitcase. Yep. So, so um, if you're going to a retreat, a retreat, or you know maybe you're meeting some friends at a hotel or something, and you mm -hmm. know there's not enough tables in the hotel room That's for everybody right. to and this to have for sewing. Right, travel is super easy, and it will really allow you to social distance because you could move it wherever you want. You can absolutely <laughs> move it anywhere so you want. So you don't have to worry about being too close to your friend if you guys are trying to sew uh, and you don't want to like swap spit. Cause that's a thing right now. That would don't be do weird. That. Don't, don't do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know what to say to that. Um, can you embroider on it if everything fits on top? A absolutely. Yes. You can. Um, the machine that we have right there is sitting on top of it. So it does make a flush, uh, flat surface. So, um, you can slide the machine over to the right, um, slide your embroidery unit on right on top of that. And then you would be able to embroider. So that would be a great option. Um, we have a couple of these in stock. Yep. Um, so if you wanted to stop in and take something home, you we certainly literally could. could. Um, the same with the bandicoot. Do we have one more of those? Mm -hmm. No. Did we? I feel like there was another cabinet. The kiwis. The kiwis, but we sold them all. Oh, so uh, ignore that. The only thing we have in stock is this one that you could take home. Everything <laughs> we else. We have one of those still in the box, be, but um, that's the only one that we have. Actual. See what happens when you have a day off? What's that? Should I bring a kiwi over? Sure. Or you, you could just walk the... across with the camera. You yeah, won't don't actually I... have to move it. But give me so um Hayden's gonna go and show our, our kiwi. So I'm gonna take so that, that you don't off. get nauseated there by him walking go. across the store. <laughs> so um the dimensions of the gidget, I can get those for you. Um give me just a second. I, I can't will... to Google that on my you, phone. You, you can't. <laughs> Um, you know what? I can. You can. Yes. <laughs> I don't have to go anywhere for that. Look at that. <laughs> My phone is on its way to show the other it cabinet. It is showing the other cabinet. So those are some of the great options. And um, when Hayden gets all set up over there, we're going to show you this adorable little kiwi. So um, this thing is fantastic. It's got drawers for storage and it has a side for a pressing um, your stuff. So a pressing mat and then there's a cutting mat. And... I think he's got that all set up. So I'm going to flip over there real quick. All right. So this is the cute little Kiwi. Um, so you can see you've got four drawers. These are the auto um, soft clothes. So um, you can't slam them no matter how hard you try. Except when you build them. Yeah, except you for have when you to build slam them. them. <laughs> That's the way that that works. Right. We found out in a fun way. Um, but there's your little, um, your pressing part and then the piece right next to it is where you can do your cutting um the cutting mat that comes with it we have it slid in the drawer just because um i was using it for um other things um and that is that pretty teak color so it's the only thing we have in the store that has the that actual teak, teak so that you can see that so miss marilyn um <laughs> isn't google fun uh the opening on the that um Gidget two is 23 and a half by 12 inches. So pretty good size opening. There's, um, I don't know if you said that or not, I did but not. literally all the way up to that full size sewing machine will fit mm -hmm. in there if you wanted to get a uh, insert for that. And she's sewing on a 630, which is um, like the 1350 size. So a normal size. So the tables itself, it is 40 and a quarter wide. Uh, 19 and three quarters deep and 28 and a half tall. So there you go. So that, meets that is almost exactly your measurements. <laughs> yeah. Something very darn close. narrow, 17 or 18 inches and quite short, 40 inches. So there you go. That would be, um, it would be a real nice uh, little guy. And it, it is really cool. Um, it comes completely put together. Um, it's got a nice little ruler on the front of it. So, I mean, it's just a great little sewing surface that, can come and go as you need it. Yes. You know, if you don't have a lot of room, you can fold it up, throw it in the closet of course, with your sewing machine. And then when mm -hmm. you need to sew, you can pop it back out, yep. pop the machine on it and go to town. When so. I was first introduced to this, um, it was going in the camper. Mm. So, um, because I knew I was going to be taking my sewing machine with me when we camped. Yeah. Um, and so that was going to be what I sewed on in the camper. And then I bought a house in the country with a log cabin. And now I don't really go in my camper much. <laughs> I haven't gotten there mad enough go. that I've been like, I'm going to the camper. I'm out of here. Going to sew. That's my happy place. Oh, yeah, right? I'm out of here. 
So, um, so the other thing that we briefly talked about, um, and you guys did see, um, on picture was, uh, the, the chairs. chairs. So I showed you guys the chair, the chairs. um, <laughs> like in parts <laughs> when it first came in, we hadn't gotten it all put together or anything. Um, we actually have, uh, one, two on the floor, I think right yeah, now, the purple we have a purple one. one, which is, they do come in solids. And then they also come with, uh, yes, she shed in very definite terms. Um, so, uh, we're going to pop up that picture. Can you pull the camera back just, just a, a hair. smidge? Or smidge, hair, more smidge. smidge. There we go. Perfect. That's good. That's good. Um, and so, uh, it's just so darn cute. So um, cute. so one thing that I love about this is this is not like a, I'm going to tip over chair. No. So with not those, like the chair I was sitting in exactly. earlier. Exactly. So we have a lot of chairs that the tops look like this in the shop. However, all of the rest of them have four post legs mm -hmm. that if you lean a little too far left, a little too far forward, mm -hmm. it literally kind of scoots right out from underneath your bum. Yeah. And you go down. <laughs> yeah. Depending on, especially it depends on like where like the casters just the are. angle. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So the angle of those um, wheels underneath can really, really um, make a difference. All of those types of chairs, including this, you can actually lift the seat mm -hmm. and there is storage underneath your bum mm -hmm. and you can put random things in there. Maybe Hayden would um, can flip can that you... up. Maybe reaches in the back. So just that simple, you can see that there's um, a complete storage department right in there, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, and you can throw random whatnots in there, um, candy, Yeah. whatever is necessary that you must hide from, from other people. So there are multiple prints and there are multiple um, solids that these come in and they, oh, son of a gun. Doctors, the doctors, again, okay. I'm so sorry That's right. um, that they're too much. Okay, They're on so here. the chairs are $299. So um, that is a great option. There are a ton of, um, their bundles. So um, the Arrow Kangaroo Company, they do these fantastic things called um, like quilt studios or bundles where they will bundle a cabinet with maybe a cutting counter. Um, and then they will add a free chair and give you free uh, shipping to your house. So there's a lot of really fun cool things um that you can get all um wrapped up to everything but um there you go so that's a little bit about the new cabinets that we have um we do still sell koala cabinets in the shop um we don't currently have any because they are in the process of uh re-engineering all of their uh, products um they are kind of making uh modular cabinets ironically um but the price tag is a lot different so um, their versions of the mods are basically double the price um, and they're beautiful cabinets. Um, uh, and I'm not trying to, I, I'm not trying to say anything negative about Koala because I, oh, no. I now own four of those. <laughs> um, uh, they, they are did, beautiful uh, cabinets. Right? They, they just have a very different price point. They have a very big different price point. And um, the thing that I can promise you is that um, it doesn't matter uh, how much you spend on your cabinet. Sometimes they come not quite like you expected They're They don't come in right. <laughs> so, um, you know, it does happen. Um, the great thing about, uh, koala, the cabinets, everything is that, um, is that they really, um, they will all stand behind their product. Absolutely. So they will Every make single, it right. No matter um, what, yes. um, it's going on. If you call them and say, okay, my wheel was popped or, you know, the plastic is broke. They'll send right. you a new wheel. Right. You know, I was missing a screw. They send you the screw. Yeah. Um, they really do. Did we want to show? So, um, we are actually sitting, um, in front of, in front standing, of, in, standing front of. in front of with our camera on, um, these really great, um, <laughs> cutting counters. So uh, we actually now have two of these. Um, and that looks good. Perfect. Um, we have two of them uh, set next to one another. So there's a, uh, yeah, you can see we're <laughs> hiding over here. Um, so the cabinet is, uh, you can see the hinges there. Those are where they split. Um, there's two and there is um, banks of drawers underneath. You're stepping on my cord. So sorry. Thank good you. Good thing it's long. It's a good thing. Um, so lots and lots of storage capable um, in these guys here. So this is my favorite. <laughs> this is. I know. This thing is and so cool. We've got two of them 
in the uh, the store now. So um, we're using them for our new cutting counter, mm -hmm. um, but it's also a really great way for us to um, kind of manhandle all of, all of the, the miscellaneous whatnots that we have floating around this joint. Right. There might be a few. Yeah, because I mean, that totally happens, right? You're, you're cutting, you're doing all of this stuff. So um, there's lots of choices. So um, this cabinet top or the cutting counter is called the... It is the Dingo. dingo. <laughs> and oh, the baby. Dingo is... <laughs> Sorry. On the cutting table. On the cutting, <laughs> thank you. Uh, the Dingo <laughs> is uh, $1,499 um, with shipping to your home. Um, this thing is a It's a beast. beast. Um, do not try to move this by yourself. No. Um, um. And they've got some really heavy duty casters they on do. these. So um, that's really nice. So, Speaking of heavy duty casters. Yeah. The Ava we didn't talk about. And I didn't see anybody ask um, either the... Um, if, if you are a multi-needle person and you have been looking for a fantastic stand yes. that actually has storage and everything in one place, mm -hmm. it is beautiful. We do have one of those here on the floor too. We don't have to run around again, but if, yeah. if you are looking for that, that is certainly an option and it is on the website already as well. So, yeah. um, um, so Diane asked, uh, what is the brand of the chair? Those are made by Arrow. Arrow. So they are the Aero company. Um, it is their chairs. And they yep. do make um, two styles of chairs. They make the yep. one with the, um, like the office chair base. Mm -hmm. And then they make the four, um, the four caster, four caster yep. one. Um, and you can get either or. Um, the reason we love that um, spinning one is because if you lean forward, you don't, you don't end up on your butt. We don't like to fall on our or your face or, or whatever, whatever that happens, happens to be. Yeah. Um, but not only that, it, these are height adjustable. They are. Um, and which is really nice for it, height, you know, height. Uh, um, so how long are your legs? Well, how right. long are your legs? Well, you know, when you have that difference, chairs can be very comfortable or very not comfortable if your right. legs are swinging in the breeze or, you know, so on and so forth. So it certainly makes a difference. It so does. they're height adjustable. They don't tip. And they have storage under your bum. So what right. more could you? Oh, and lumbar support. And lumbar support. What more could you ask for? Right. Um, and they're cute. And they're, <laughs> they're super cute. They are just uh, so cute. I'm so sorry. <coughs> so, anyways, to make a very long story, sh sorry, <laughs> <laughs> you weren't there when I started that. Let's just <laughs> back over. So, make a long story short, um, cabinets, right? Cabinets and cabinets sewing chairs, can um, absolutely make really can make or break your sewing experience. Um, and uh, no, not everybody has a space that they can call their own mm -hmm. little room or. or that some I mean, you haven't crazy. always sewn in cabinets. You haven't <laughs> always sewn. I mean, no, my first sewing machine I sewed at the kitchen table yep. um, and then uh, on a TV tray so for a very short amount of time. My first sewing table yes. was actually a pedal, a treadle, excuse me, machine oh, sure. that was buried. And I had my machine on, on top, top of, of that. Yeah. So it was actually higher than even the standard table because it had the lift and I mean right. I, yeah but so it's kind of a cabinet it just wasn't being used properly absolutely <laughs> but um really pretty they are very pretty yes very very pretty um but yeah so cabinets really do make a difference we understand that everybody isn't interested right. we also understand everybody doesn't have the budget for it but if you've been looking um for something that is a reasonably priced cabinet these really are nice quality and still nice prices. <laughs> right. <laughs> so. And we can sweeten that deal because if you have a sewing and more card, um, or if you don't, we can help you get we can one. Help you get one. Um, we can give you six months at zero percent interest. Um, and so uh you can spread the payments of your cabinets out yeah. over six months. Um, so that is even better deal. That makes it a little bit easier yeah. on your pocket. Um, and you know. We know that a lot of you guys are going to be getting a stimulus check soon. Yes. So I don't know, what is that about fourteen hundred dollars? I mean, that's like right almost the whole thing on some of these. That's over half on right. others. So there you, you go. Could stimulate Labu. So we can. Not really sure that came out right, but that's okay. Uh, with your check. Now she's red. <laughs> that was not what intended. <laughs> Oh, sometimes live, right? Oh, that's yeah, hysterical. Oh, so yes, so, please yeah. come do that. I'm not going to repeat it, but please, <laughs> you're absolutely. Um, yeah. So right. anyway, 
to uh, wrap up today, let's talk about Camper Belt because yes, maybe we I won't know. turn red with that. Everybody is dying to know what is going on with Camper Belt, right? So, so there is a new quilt yes. that we should have the patterns for any day. Hopefully by the end of this week. Yes. Um, I know that they've shipped. Mm -hmm. um, so we are hoping that those patterns will show up hopefully this week. Right. Um, if not at the latest, the beginning of next week. But so, um, we have red, the fabric. white, blue. Red, white, and blue will be here. Um, we do have the fabric already. All we need to do is toss in the pattern and the embellishment. So look at this beautiful fabric. It's really, really Look at that really clear. good glare. Here we go. <laughs> nope, I had it. There we go. Nope, there we go. There we go. Beautiful fabrics. Um, they are all ready to go but we do not have the patterns yet. However, we have 24 pattern, not patterns. What did I just say those were? Fabrics. We have 24 fabric kits, all set, ready to go home with somebody. Mm -hmm. 12. 11 left. 12 of those are sold. Yeah, 13 of those are sold. 13 of those are sold. <laughs> yeah, one's for me. <laughs> one's, one's for mine. the store. <laughs> um, and um, we have a bonus for you yeah so first of all the bundle comes with all of that beautiful fabric which will complete the entire quilt top plus Including your binding, binding but not so your backing. all you would need is the backing everything else is going to be in there well mm -hmm. not batting but all of the other fabrics are there the pattern the pattern which gives you all of the instructions the sewing instructions the embroidery instructions the piecing the whole shebang yep and the embellishment kits mm -hmm. which if you've done any of the kimberbell you know that the embellishment kit makes makes it special right so you really need that so guess what it's all included it is. the embroidery bundle is 149.95 plus tax the sewing bundle is 119 mm -hmm. um just because it's the pattern it is doesn't less have expensive. the cds as it doesn't have designs. the cd mm -hmm. um so we have those available yes but what do you get if you buy that from Lavu? so if, if you, you pre-buy that pre-buy it Lavu. so if you purchase your um full kit or for anybody who already put their deposit down, yep, uh, you are included in this. Um, so yes, this bundle. We had to mop Sarah's brow. She's right. been working super, super, super hard. hard. So um, what were you working super, super hard on? I made quilting designs for our Kimberbell quilt that were literally designed for yes. this Kimberbell quilt. So there's a quilt pre-quilt mm -hmm. quilting yeah. option for you guys to do right in the hoop as you're creating each of these squares mm -hmm. that you will get for free. For free if you pre-ordered yes so basically you're in a race against the mailman yes. <laughs> so once the patterns get here and they're ready um that list will be cut off mm -hmm. um it won't be a pre-order that's right so it's not necessarily those first 24 unless those first 24 are all pre-sold that's right it, so if we sell a hundred um we're gonna be we'll be cutting a lot cutting, more fabric but everybody but will everybody get will get that so <laughs> <laughs> it's not just up to 24 we're just telling you that we have um the first that's what we have prepped at are this gonna moment. get their fabrics and their kits quicker yep but everybody would get the quilting designs so kimberbell if you're a kimberbell fan i know you've seen that she has a bundle online and it's or maybe you haven't 89 dollars for the quilting designs and so when we talk about these quilting designs these designs are designed to basically pre-quilt um before you before you put the embroidery your over, embroidery top of it. over top of it um so you would still need to um layer some sort of um backing and and, and, and then some tack batting. either stitch in the ditch or yes um, a bar some tack or something to keep everything together um but it is and um so how many quilting designs um on a cd or a usb stick um so they will be electronically available um either on a usb stick or via an electronic download um, that will be available by the time. By the time. Yeah, we're still working out the details of how that is. Of course, anybody could come in on a USB and, and with that pre-order, we could get you those right. um, here. But we're trying to figure out how to get them to you if you're not standing in front of us. That's right. So, um, and still maintain proprietary, whatever you want to call that. Right. Um, you know, this is intended to be a gift for all of you for supporting us and buying mm -hmm. from us. Um, it's not intended to be a, we're just going to send it to everybody because that's kind of defeats the purpose. Right. So we're just trying to work out the the details on how to get it to those of you who um, are supposed to get it without giving it to the world. Yeah. Um, I don't have the exact uh, how many quilting designs on there. There are 
um, 50 something blocks in the quilt. Um, and that includes sashing board sashings and borders. Um, but like the, there's four corner blocks and all four corner blocks are the same. So same that stitch pattern the, that you would put it, on right, them. Right. So there's two by two squares. There's two by four squares. Yeah. That's not a square. Um, <laughs> two by four squares, but those, um, would all have, um, you know, so how many two by twos? You just did one? No. You did multiple two by twos. more than one. So you can pick and choose and that yeah. kind of thing. So if I remember right, I think there's 16 in the Kimberbell bundle. Yeah. Um, but you know, so I'm going to um, say 16 to 20. somewhere in that range, um, of, is Different what she did. Designs. Um, and, and my job was to peer over her shoulder and go, Oh, you missed a spot. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I did maybe that much more than that, but not, <laughs> this is, uh, all Sarah's work. So, um, when they don't work, you know, I'm just kidding. That's right. <laughs> I'm totally like kidding. I'm totally kidding. Um, but you know, she's, um, worked super hard on, on getting that stuff ready for you. So, um, Hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And uh, that was the goal so yeah. that we could have something specifically as a thank you for supporting us. Cause you know, there's lots of places out there you can buy this stuff. So we certainly appreciate you buying from us. That's right. We know we aren't always um, maybe aren't always the, the least, first or the first person you try or the least expensive. Um, you know, uh, there are definitely people who can do this um, for less than we can. Um, but we're trying, I think we're, I think we're pretty we're fair. I think we're very fair. Um, yeah. we're certainly not in any way, shape or form in a gouging, nope. uh, price points. I think we're pretty on par with most of them mm -hmm. out there. Um, and, um, we will definitely do, um, some of this about the quilt. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not sure, you know, there's not a weak thing, um, with this one. Like there was the last time there was a quilt that came out. Um, so it'll probably more like what we did with the pillow mm -hmm. and just kind of touch base. We might have more than one of those, uh, you know, Hey, I did these this weekend and guess what? <laughs> Make sure you don't do this or, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but it certainly, um, we will do, um, something. Yes. There will definitely be a tips and techniques, but it won't be to clarify. It will not be a sew along. Right. It will be a tips and techniques type add on. Um, and my guess is there'll be more than one because to do an entire quilt in one viewing. Um, and I mean, I know we're super entertaining, but you guys would get bored. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Well, we'll, and maybe we'll break we it down a little bit down in the sections, in, like you know, section a it. section B right. so on and so forth. Right. Or I don't know what she called them this time around, but right. Um, we can, pro that would probably make more sense. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's, that's what's going on. So that's our big Kimberbell that news. Our big Kimber Bell um, news. and, uh, again, should be, any day. any day now any day yeah now. yeah um and we definitely have more patterns coming um you know but we looked at what we had pre-sold um and kind of based on how many kits we were making on that so that's kind of where we went on there but um you know i mean we doubled yes. <laughs> what, what we had pre-sold originally so um we will uh probably make more kits before Most too much likely. longer yeah so yeah all right um Yes, I let me make the mistake for you. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. So ab yeah. absolutely. And um, just so everybody knows, uh, we don't have ours. So no, um, I'm waiting. Have I have the fabric, fabric and I keep fondling it. Right. But I don't even have the I, I don't even have the cut stuff. I don't have anything no. to go. So I won't sleep for a little while. And I'll get as much as I possibly can get done as fast as I possibly can get it done. But there, we don't get those files early or anything. So I'm waiting for it just like you guys are. Yes. Um, and so it won't be like it comes out and all of a sudden our sample is done. No, it'll magically appear one section at a time. <laughs> so, um, but yes, we will absolutely um, do some tips and tricks. Mm -hmm. um, we'll look over the sewing thing and uh, patterns and see if there's anything that we need to um yeah, change or you know if there's different something or, different yeah. on there and we will get you guys um a completed quilt with mm -hmm. as much information as we can do as soon as possible yep so i think that's about it i think right? that's what we've got today so i really appreciate you guys checking in um you've seen most of what we have here on the floor but if you want to actually come push the buttons open the drawers all of that good stuff come on down we'll show you what it's all about um you can order directly on our website if you just oh that's the one that i want um, everything, almost everything we talked about is on there today. I think there's two things that I'll go do real quick and, um, I'm working on getting them all in there, but, 
um, we'll be able to answer questions for you. Like I said, you guys can check it all out on the website. So thanks for spending your hour with us. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye. Bye.